Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Just want to say a quick sorry for the erratic posting schedule of my videos. The last couple of days I've had just a ton of unfortunately unrelated things to focus on. But I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm here. So, Six of Coins. Um, I kind of, you know, this these uh, the Marseille decks, they're always a little... They're always a little plain, but I like the I like how it sort of appears like there is like a an upward facing triangle and a downward facing triangle. You know, the, the top three and the bottom three. Whoops. Anyways, um, so my my idea for this, what what I kind of what came to my mind was this concept of funnels. I don't have a very good name for it. A, a, a focal point, a focusing point, a bottleneck. Let's say um, the I was I was reading something about uh, acts of uh, acts of holy divine miracles in in different uh, you know religious scriptures. Usually, uh, whether it's a, a prophet or some sort of emissary of a of a deity, they generally perform miracles right and in a lot of the uh, in a lot of the literature i guess it's it's not the individual performing the miracle that is necessarily credited with having the power it, it in a way it's a it's a matter of that individual just being able to invoke the direction of some supreme power some some supreme divine grace or something you know so the so the healer you know points at an individual and and essentially directs all of that all of that great helpful healing energy let's say and he says you know go here and i kind of i kind of like the idea of that as <clears throat> i don't know shedding some light on the idea of or, or just drawing our attention to the to the idea that there is a lot of hypothetically in these, let's say, in these spiritual religious stories, there is this abundance of goodwill, or at least this energy that could certainly do this this labor of healing and rectifying things. But it doesn't do it on its own. It's just it's just hovering up there, like uh, you know, it's like one of those swimming pools those crazy swimming pools that are all encased in glass and you could be underneath the swimming pools it's like all that all that water all that pressure is up there but it's just sitting there you gotta someone's gotta poke a hole in it and they have to choose where they're gonna poke the hole because that's the spot from which all, all of the water will start flowing down right um and so often these sort of holy figures aren't aren't themselves the the containers of that power they are just the ones that direct it and i was kind of thinking about how you know we i think on a pretty regular basis we experience a, a modern version of this in the form of the the social media viral breakout fundraiser feel good story <laughs> you know it's some guy i was my car broke down and this and this homeless guy totally hooked me up his name is jeff he's been on the street for seven years you know it's just him and his dog i've set up a fundraiser i've set up a gofundme for him he's the sweetest guy and he didn't have to you know he didn't have to help me but he did and then that goes viral and you know thousands of people donate to this to this guy and it's like all those those thousands of people, they had, like, they always had the money, right? Like, there, there is a huge number of people around the planet right now that have a dollar they could spare. But it's just it, that, that generosity, you know, it, it lays dormant. What they need, in a way what they're waiting for without realizing it, is someone to, you know, Get their attention and say look this is the th this is the thing right here this is what is deserving of just that tiny little bit of your goodwill and you know and then 
theoretically in some of these situations there is like an outpouring again that kind of water analogy but there is an outpouring that is just you know amazing but nonetheless is it is it not in a way really come down to that one individual who decided to point in a direction and say look this is the thing this is the thing that deserves attention um it's an it's it's something that i think used to exist only in politics and by only i mean only in politics insofar as um the the consequences of these actions were were broadly felt you know politicians even the the kind of local municipal level you know politicians you know they were individuals who would go around and try and get a bunch of people to back an idea to back a project you know to to do something um the the digital interconnectedness didn't exist and the social media uh didn't exist there the ability to you know the the ability to put an idea out where it certainly could be discovered by like you know millions of people hundreds of millions of people um didn't exist until until relatively recently as far as human history is concerned but now it's it's very common and i think that in a lot of ways there is there's kind of this obsession with like not not for everyone but i think a lot of people have this obsession where they want to be that funnel they want to be that focal point they want to be the individual who gets gets a bunch of people to express interest or support in a direction now this also works in the in the negative sphere of things you know if um if if a person points at something and says this is despicable this is horrendous right this is this is just this shouldn't be allowed to exist again often it's the case that a bunch of people will take notice of this and just start freaking out and you know we will not stand for this um this is what i kind of imagine some of the uh some of those kinds of crazy you know witch trials not necessarily like the salem witch trials but any of those kind of trials where it's just like because if i'm not mistaken the salem witch trials have this they have this really sort of pathetic aspect of like okay so there was someone who was just like good at math maybe like they they were just they were just slightly better than everyone else at something and that was enough to to alienate them enough so that when one person had some sort of beef or issue with them they they could just point at that person and say look it's so fucked up that they whatever they predicted the weather you know um and then enough people would get on board and then one of the fucked up things is like when a bunch of people get on board with a fundraiser amazing things you know innumerable riches could be bestowed upon an individual but also when a bunch of people get on board with you know just despising something right at a certain point the the legal system can't resist like on it you know think about it like if if 75 percent and and uh, I, I honestly doubt whether it even takes that much but i mean in, in my gut when i say something like 75 percent, it just it sounds like a no-brainer right if 75 percent of your city or town decided that you know if they took up a position that jeff that owns the gas station is responsible for for all those uh all those heart attacks that people have been having like some completely irrational idea you know but if 75 percent of the people believe that like the the local judicial system would have to you know you can't just ignore the majority of the people like it to a degree no matter how ridiculous their claims are i kind of imagine that may have been the case at at those witch trials where it's like i think also the the impression that a lot of people have of those witch trials is like you know it was the it was the judges that were corrupt it was the whatever the prosecutors or something but uh and i'm not saying that that wasn't the case i don't know but it's interesting to entertain the idea that the the judges were like 
fuck, this is crazy. But like my hands are t- like, I can't, I can't say no to the mob. This mob is like, it's the majority of people. If, if I essentially don't let them have their way, they're going to like, they're going to dismantle the judicial system and like maybe kill me in the process. And like, th- there will be no law going forward from that point that, you know, or who knows what kind of chaos they can get up to. But you know, it's, I feel like sometimes the, the lesser of two evils might be like to, to hold on to the judici- judicial system as it exists, except you make this one consolation, which is like, you know, ridiculous, right? Uh, who knows? Just a hypothetical idea to entertain. But yeah, so when when enough people come together for something, it can it can build up this crazy momentum. And so one type of funnel is what I believe the the bottom half of the uh, the Marseille card depicts. You know, with the two coins on top and the one on the bottom. It's that it's that pressure on top and it kind of goes down and becoming the focal point i think is something that a lot of people are motivated by and i think this also includes things like breaking a new story although at this point i think breaking new stories for a while was i think it was still pretty cool and desirable to break like a meme you know like a cute oh my god you see that video with the kitten or whatever like that was that was a thing I think it's more and more common for people to only really consider the the valid funnel focal action activities to either be the the charitable thing like this is the only worthy virtuous place to to donate your money or the this is this is the only thing that deserves your hatred and anger this is the vilest thing this is what you should you know, detest and and abhor. Um, and I kind of feel like it's, it's more tilted to the, to the negative side. That's just, I guess that's just my take. And then with the inverse, the other two variants are what I guess would be like the top, the top half of the card. Um, and it's, and, and this, I think is, is much more skewed to one side, but this is the idea that a, a singular individual can can dispense something to a huge mass of people, right? That that a single individual can can make a difference. And I think there used to be a lot of a lot of heroic stories that were that were essentially based on the, the sort of the principle that like you know one person can can make a difference often especially if if they uh sacrifice themselves in in some way but like the sacrifice of an individual obviously entire religions have you know been based on the idea that like the often the a single sacrifice could could be a thing that you know redeems an entire uh whatever the human species or entire group of people but i think in this case there is there is a lot of doubt as to the ability of a singular individual to bestow any sort of any any kind of benefit amongst you know the, the people, the masses, society, any sort of improvement. I think it's much more not that it doesn't exist, but I think it's much more fashionable to instead apply the same idea, you know, that that the the one thing at the top can take responsibility for a massive influence of what happens on the bottom but in the inverted scenario of blaming blaming all the things that are bad blaming all the the horrible things that have gone wrong in your life and everybody else's life on that one you know it's that corporate fat cat the selfish greedy politician who whatever you know that that idea that that all the bad could come from this this singular point uh which again isn't uh isn't inaccurate but i think it's interesting that again the the contemporary outlook as far as as far as it strikes me i think often is heavily skewed away from the idea that there also exist individuals like singular individuals that benefit the human species uh 
so much more than any other individual or group of individuals you know i think i think there's this there's this pretty commonly accepted idea that if you're at the top the only way you could have gotten to the top is by taking advantage of people of you know robbing and stealing that that's <clears throat> that's the only way um, to get to those positions that there's no there are no virtuous qualities through the possession of, of which does an individual rise to greater and greater heights you know uh scientific discovery uh artistic talents sort of understanding of the human psyche the human condition uh you know the ability to the the far far beyond average ability to predict the future that like no nobody nobody's special everyone is and, and you know I'm being facetious here because I, I don't exactly see it this way but this idea that like no great people don't exist great heroic talented outliers do not exist everyone's just the byproduct of the same society and if someone gets ahead the only way you could be an outlier is by you know being a criminal robbing and stealing or something um but but yeah but I, but i do think that that both exist and i think this this card in general is um is a good you know it's it's a good direction on which to kind of aim it's a it's a good direction on which to to meditate uh unlike unlike a lot of the other uh pip cards which i mean i i like looking at all of them as um as places as like locations you know that you can that you could even hypothetically go to to like meditate on an idea this one i think predominantly at this point mostly happens on social media and all four of the variants of the you know the top down funnel and the bottom up funnel um i think you know it's it, not to say that they don't exist even something like even something like a person uh sitting on the street you know panhandling begging for money and people giving the money it's like as soon as that person is identified as, as needing help right um but nonetheless i think the majority of this happens on social media and i think it's just interesting to ask what else <laughs> interesting to ask what else social media offers besides the facilitation of these phenomena you know um besides the useful act of meditating on uh on this phenomenon itself but i will leave things here let me know what you think if uh, you got any other ideas or variants of of this kind of uh concept thanks for watching and drop me a like if you enjoyed the video feel free to comment free reading to be entered into the free weekly or the weekly draw for the free reading uh i'll be back tomorrow with another video take care